Conference movement, and also because they contributed a really beautiful piece to our book. So a little story about this. This has been about two years in the works, and um, it's all everything that CG does is volunteer-led, and we've been planning on launching it tonight. And yesterday we found out that our order of books did not arrive for tonight, as you probably have heard, right? It was devastating. I was crying.
the most we've ever had. Uh, many, many, many of them helped organize this dinner. We're really, really excited about our new owner's manual. That you each have one on your table. The CHJ owner's manual. This took us a year to design and organize our membership committee. And along with our book, it's available tonight for the first time. We're hoping that this will make our organization more transparent, accessible, understandable to new people who are getting involved. We've also been able to hire a part-time coordinator, which is one of the main goals of the Fund for the Future campaign, um, to coordinate the conference that Agra Watch is going to put on. Agra is the Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa. It's a Gates, funded, Gates Foundation funded agricultural development program that CHJ is campaigning um, against because we're in favor of agroecological alternatives and solutions to hunger, not high-tech, industrial, agriculture, and green revolution. So we're putting on an international conference. Okay. We're putting on an international conference um, early next year in Janae Chopet, a longtime amazingly talented organizer and co-chair of Agrawatch um, has agreed to coordinate that and is being paid part time. The conference is a huge opportunity to call international attention to the agroecological alternatives that we're supporting and to counteract the Gates Foundation. Um, as their neighbors in their hometowns. In the back of the room, you can see signs from an action we did on the International Day of Action against Monsanto. It says Gates, fire Monsanto now. The Gates Foundation is directly, not only invested in, the, in Monsanto Corporation, but they partner directly in many of their, of their uh, programs in Africa. Um, another part of that action was um, when we helped expose that the Gates Foundation was invested in Monsanto, we collected the names of over 100 um, individuals, activists from around the world, and then we did an online petition, and we gathered over 2,000 names, and this is just listing everybody. And then the action, we had everybody there sign it as well, and we delivered it to the Gates Foundation. The reason that I have it is that they wouldn't freaking accept it. They said we had to put it in the mail, but we decided it was better in this format. It's just part of our efforts to pressure them. Publishing the second edition of our Food Our Right Recipes for Food Justice. And the reason we did that, um, we were convinced by our fearless leaders, Annie and Phil, um, that we needed to have the format um, and the quality necessary to increase the reach of our book um, to distribution, especially to libraries. One of our main goals is to have it widely accessible. And for people to not have to purchase it, it needed to be of a value, of a quality necessary to go to libraries. And so we set a really ambitious goal and we reached that goal. Um, thanks so much to so many of you for helping us do that. We've made improvements to our database system, our communications, we're poised to hire an administrative assistant. We launched our community education workshop series, um, which is also responding to the demands of our community. Um, we're often asked to give workshops on food justice and food sovereignty, and we're developing that program. But, you know, the most amazing thing about CEDJ is that it's entire, I mean, I'm paid full-time, but other than that, all of this work is being led, um, and the vision for it is coming from our volunteers. So I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's put in an hour, or sometimes some of you put in 40 hours a week. It's incredible how much people give to CEDJ as volunteers. We just have a round of applause for all of the Later this evening, you'll have an opportunity through the donations to the dessert auction. Um, our big, which is our big ask of the evening, in addition, we know that you've generously donated to just to be here. But we'll be asking you to help our fund even more so we can continue to strengthen our and accelerate our programs. You know, when you're taking on the Gates Foundation as a volunteer-led organization, resources are really great. It really helps <laughs> to expand our resources. So we ask you to help us do that, and we know that you will. So thanks for stepping up your involvement, both your donations and your activism with CHJ.